I did nutrition and athletes, and what you'll notice throughout my presentation, I spent a little bit more time on lifting and resistance training rather than like other aerobic uh, exercises. So each muscle has a cycle system involving three phases, and these phases are the energy phase, anabolic phase, and the growth phase, and all of which are fueled by nutrients when exercising. And I'll go into a little deep, a bit of detail about all three. So to begin with, the energy phase described by the Public Health Department in the Journal of Romanian Sports Medicine Society extends during the entire workout. This is when the muscles need enough energy for performing contractions. And it says, uh, timing science for athletes show that consuming car carbohydrates with proteins 10 minutes prior to and during a workout is necessary. Um, the benefits for this will be a good spare of glycogen, which improves muscular endurance and also reduces muscle damage. The anabolic phase, this extends for uh, 45 minutes immediately after the workout or performance. This is when the muscle has a great capacity of repairing the damaged proteins and replenishes the glycogen stores. And this is when an athlete should consume carbohydrates, vitamin C and E as antioxidants and amino acid, acids. This is to help uh, speed up the muscle recovery. So the growth phase, this extends until immediately to your next workout. So from the time you end your first workout, to uh, the start of the next. This is the period of increase of proteins and carbohydrates. These are the two most important activators for muscle growth. So what should they consume? At the beginning of the 21st century, a dietary approach known as the nutrient periodization was launched. Um, it advocates that a person should consume about 45 to 65% carbohydrates 25 to 35% of fats, and 10 to 35% of proteins. Um, these are the exercise goals, goals to build muscle and increase strength. And the key to gain muscle mass is to consume more energy than what is expanded while focusing on high resistance training. So if you're trying to gain muscle, you're gonna to wanna to take in more calories than what you, a normal person sh should. So this is just to show you how much um, protein you should take daily. You can see, I'll use me as an example. So I'm about, uh, let's say 160 pounds. I'm not a bodybuilder at all, so I would want to take about 160 grams of protein. So I'll give you guys a minute to look at that, see what you guys should have to take. Same thing with carbohydrates, except for they use your height for this. So I'm gonna give you guys a minute for that. So obviously athletes are encouraged to uh, consume a well-planned diet with sufficient calories and micronutrients and macronutrients to maintain their health and performance. Um, but there are other factors that uh, come to play for that. Um, other factors include sleep and lifestyle behaviors. If you're not sleeping enough, you're not going to be getting the uh, results you want for your performance, uh, strength, and for your lifestyle behaviors. Say someone's smoking, they're not going to have the same uh, results as they would if they're not. Also, post-exercise recovery will help reduce or prevent injuries or illnesses. Um, dietitian Marie Spano says, proper nutrition is key to refuel, rehydrate, and rebuild after a strenuous workout. Um, following vigorous exercise, you should consider when, what, and how much to eat and drink. Because exercise sensitizes muscle tissue to certain hormones and nutrients, muscle is most responsive to nutrient intake during the first 35 minutes. Of after completing the exercise. Fluid and electrolyte losses after vigorous workouts vary among athletes. So uh, 
Research studies have found that football players lose up to 1,139 milligrams of sodium in sweat during performance, which that is a lot of sodium. So rehydrating is definitely a key factor after your performance. Um, to conclude, there are some specific considerations. Um, based on sports science research, nutrition recommends for athletes for Nutrition recommendations for athletes are divided into two categories. And these two categories is resistance training and endurance training. Each of which have their own specific ways to train, but as well as to recover. So yes, there's two, uh, resistance training people would do work out and recover a total different way than what people would that uh, do endurance training. But uh, this quote says, uh, Proper recovery is essential for an athlete to build on any gains from a workout, practice, or game. And this is by uh, Sarah Snyder. And th what this is pretty much saying is, for both of these, the recovery, even though they're different, the, it's essential for both. So you have to get that done. And these are my sources. Thank you.